The latest from IDF here, uh, joined by a spokesperson, uh, Jonathan Conricus. Thank you again for joining us here, and uh, always uh, your time that uh, is spent here on Live Now from Fox. We always appreciate it. Um, so let's get right into it here. Obviously, uh, this, uh, first off, I just want to say how uh, sorry I am for uh, your troops here that had to deal with, with the uh, three Israelis uh, that uh, were killed. Uh, we're, we're deeply saddened by that. Thank you. Yes, it is a tragic event which the IDF takes full responsibility for. Our soldiers on the ground misidentified three Israeli hostages that were outside of Hamas captivity as uh, a threat, as enemy combatants fired at them, and sadly, uh, they were killed. Uh, we're going to investigate this, and we're going to be fully transparent with the families. And I want to take the opportunity here to, of course, to reiterate our deepest sympathy and sadness and condolences to the families. And Jonathan, what can you tell us as far as uh, the, the fighting that continues right now as uh, you obviously are going for the uh, complete uh, uh, eradication of Hamas? Well, yes, as sad as this event is and as tragic and as moving as it is, uh, we must continue. And we must continue fighting. Our troops must not be, uh, must not stray. And we will keep our focus on what needs to be done. I'd like to remind everybody that there are still more than 250,000 Israeli civilians that are evicted from their homes and living in temporary housing because it is not safe, neither close to Gaza nor close to the Lebanese border in the north. Uh, and for that particular reason, we understand that we have to continue to push on and to make sure that Hamas is dismantled as a military and governing organization and to get back our hostages. And only then can we declare that the main combat operations will be over and then there will be a long way of rebuilding our communities and uh, reinstilling a sense of security for them to live within their homes. And I have to ask you here about, we were just taking some from the United Nations uh, there, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of outside voices around the world uh, saying that there should be a ceasefire here. How does uh, your uh, troops uh, stay focused on the mission ahead and uh, not uh, hear some of that noise that is coming from all over uh, the world? Yeah, for the troops, it's relatively easy because they don't have their cell phones and they're busy fighting. They're busy defeating an enemy, and it is uh, challenging times, but they are progressing well. Uh, for others, perhaps it's a bit more challenging, those who are not inside the Gaza Strip, who have to listen to, the, to this uh, Hamas propaganda, which is gaining support around the world. Uh, but I think what we are responding is very clear. There is absolutely no sense to such a thing, because it would only ensure future bloodshed and killing, murdering of Israeli civilians. Why do I say that and what do I base it on? Not on my own words and thinking, but on Hamas. Hamas says so repeatedly, clearly, for anybody honest enough to listen to what they're saying. They say that we will do, they, Hamas, will do October 7th again and again and again until they are able to eradicate what they call the Zionist entity, which is the State of Israel, and establish a, um, an extremist Islamist or, uh, country in, the, in, uh, in Palestine, what they call Palestine. Uh, that is not going to happen, and we are going to make sure that Hamas is dismantled, both as a military organization and as a sovereign entity controlling Gaza, which is, has been for the last 17 years. And uh, we are not going to uh, allow Hamas to um, implement any of its future plans. They will be gone from Gaza, and that will be an excellent thing for Israel, and it will also be good for Palestinians in Gaza. Yeah, so, so true. And uh, lastly, Jonathan, do you feel that the enemy right now is overwhelmed here? Do you, do you feel that uh, uh, big leaps and bounds are being made uh, by uh, your troops there that uh, continue to put the fight to Hamas? Well, there's definitely good progress in uh, the northern, northern part of Gaza. Most of the Hamas battalions have lost combat capabilities. 
there's still sporadic fighting and they're still uh, conducting various small scale attacks against our troops, but that is very local. And by and large in Northern Gaza, the situation is proceeding well. In the South, there is significant fighting and uh, a lot of uh, terrorists are attacking our troops. Uh, a lot of enemy combatants are fighting against us in Khan Yunus. Uh, but we understand why this is. We understand that they know that they won't have a lot of other places to flee to from Khan Yunus, from the northern, southern part of the Gaza Strip. And uh, that is probably why they are fighting a little bit more above ground and not only hiding underneath the ground, as they've been doing in other locations. Whatever the enemy will do, uh, it matters. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter a lot, because at the end of the day, we will have both the resolve, the commitment, and the capabilities to see this through, to defeat our enemy, and to return our hostages home. We have no other choice. Anybody who has been in Israel, who has seen the communities that were burnt and destroyed on October the 7th, who has seen the atrocities that Hamas perpetrated on October the 7th, who has followed the ordeal of the hostages, can only come to this conclusion. No ceasefire and no uh, stopping of the pressure against Hamas, fighting until victory and until safety is restored for Israelis. Well said, uh, Jonathan. We always appreciate uh, your time uh, giving us the latest and our viewers. Uh, the updates uh, straight uh, from you. We appreciate it here as always. Stay safe to you and your teams and uh, continuing uh, the fight there against Hamas. Thank you very much. You take care. And uh, we will continue to bring you the latest there from the war in Israel as we get uh, new information, of course, really on an hourly basis right here on Live Now from Fox. We are going to step away for a quick two-minute break. Stay right here with us. More to come on Live Now.